Hello everyone and welcome back to Beatley Tones Beatles channel. Thanks for joining me for this video and I hope you're all doing well out there. Now, as you know, on this channel, I like to bring new stories as and when they, they crop up. And when they do crop up, I have to come on here straight away and tell you about them. Otherwise the moment has gone and they kind of interfere with the flow of all the other stuff that we're doing on here. Uh, you know, I am working on my video, which is a deep dive into this box set, the Imagine Ultimate Mixes box set. But some news has come up today, uh, and it's sad news, I'm afraid. And that is that drummer Alan White has died today. Now, if you don't know Alan White, Alan White played on the very early parts of the solo careers of John Lennon and George Harrison, I'll come to that in a minute. But Alan White was born in 1949 in County Durham, if you don't know where that is on with your British uh, geography. It's up in the northeast of England and he's died today on the 26th of May 2022 uh, following a, a very short illness. So it sounds as if, you know, it happened very quickly. Now, I'm not sure how John Lennon knew Alan White because he was a fairly unknown uh, session drummer. But he, he'd done some session work throughout the 60s. He worked with the Alan Price band and, and worked a lot in, in the Newcastle area. Anyway, he got a call in 1969 from John Lennon asking him to join him for the Rock and Roll Revival Festival in Toronto, which resulted in the Life Piece in Toronto 1969 album. Uh, when he got the call, he thought someone was winding him up. He couldn't quite believe it was John Lennon, but he went went off to the airport anyway. And famously, you know, the, it was a scratch band, including Eric Clapton, Klaus Vorman, and Yoko and Alan White. And they didn't have any songs rehearsed. They rehearsed on the plane. Uh, Klaus and Eric and John took acoustic guitars onto the plane. I'm not sure what sort of rehearsal Alan White could have done on the plane. It probably involved a bit of fire slapping and that was about it. But they basically did songs that they all knew, plus John taught them the uh, the, the first knockings of, of cold turkey and they also did Give Peace a Chance, Blue Suede Shoes, Money, Dizzy, Miss Lizzie and Your Blues. Following the Rock and Roll Revival gig in uh, September 1969, John also asked Alan White to join him at the Lyceum Ballroom in December 1969 when they did that gig with George Harrison and Delaney and Bonnie and Friends, where some of it ended up on the Live Jam LP on sometime in New York City. So in January 1970, John invited Alan White to be on the Instant Karma sessions. And you'll remember from that, that record, uh, his drumming actually on that record is fantastic. And um, he does that lovely fill. He does it twice actually, but the what in the world you're thinking of. And then he does this, this wild fill that he manages to fit in four beats, um, a really nice, nice little fill on that and so he was on the instant karma record george harrison obviously was on those sessions as well it may be from those sessions that george invited alan white to be on the all things must pass album and he plays on four tracks on all things must pass the opening track i'd have you at any time he plays on if not for you behind that locked door and the ballad of sir frankie crisp and a very good job he does of it too. Alan's next involvement with the Beatle was when he was invited to play on the Imagine sessions. And uh, he plays on virtually every track on Imagine. He plays on seven out of 10 tracks. The tracks that he doesn't play on are Jealous Guy, It's So Hard, and I Don't Wanna Be A Soldier. Now it's a little bit ironic because I've been working on my video for the deep dive into this box set. Um, I've been listening this evening to disc three of the set 
uh, when I heard the news that, that Alan had died. And um, there's a lovely bit on, on, on this where they're, they're working through how do you sleep and John is trying to get Alan White to play a cymbal on the offbeat during the, the guitar riff. So he wants him to go... Cymbal probably would have been too much on that. So what Alan actually does is he plays a kick drum and a hi-hat on that that offbeat. But it was just a little bit ironic for me uh, <laughs> that I was listening to, you know, to them working together when, when I heard the news. The Imagine album was really the end of the Beatles connection uh, for, for Alan White. He went on to join Yes in 1973. He replaced Bill Bruford on drums and there he stayed for pretty much the rest of his career. Imagine All Things Must Pass are right up there with my favourite albums of all time. So I just want to pay a little tribute to Alan White for the work that he did on uh, on on two of my favourite albums. So thanks very much, Alan White. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you very soon for the Imagine Deep Dive. Bye-bye.